Switchblade underscore 19. I would like to speak with you. What the fuck? Are you talking to me? Harrison. Alright, so let's just start right here. Who the hell responds like that? I mean, who else would he be talking to? This is clearly to make the kid look more like a dick. So when LT Lickass says all of his personal information which is against the law under invasion of privacy and the person who gave out the info is even more at fault. But since they are actors it does not matter. Here is a rated post from Lt. Lickass. Showing that he was looking for voice actors who can act enraged. Still having trouble believing that he is fake look at the rest of his Reddit post. And on top of all of this once people started to confront him about these posts. He started a mass deleting spree on Reddit. And now we look when Daffy Danagla and also Roar tried to call him out but people still dismiss the fact that his videos are fake. Here is another thing that Aura pointed out. When they are talking the mini-map does not show them talking like it usually does. Mr. Lick has tried to say this was a rendering error. But I think it's more of a editing mistake. Tell me Harrison, do you ever feel like you're being watched, being watched while you're at What the actual fuck? Or maybe when you're on your way home, walking to your house on street, what the you get fuck? the feeling Mr. Clark. Are you seriously in love with this? Well Mr. Lickhouse you are sounding a lot like a certain Minecraft YouTuber we all know. Megan is currently singing along to Taylor Swift's song, Blank Space in her bedroom. Your mother is in the kitchen cooking. And your father is watching Modern Family in the lounge room. Do you believe me now, Harrison? Even if he had someone in the house at the time. Of this prank it is still very unlikely. That he would be able to get all of this info that quick. And final victim's name is Brad. You told him that you would take him on a date. Have a really pleasant evening. And then you would never call him again. Leaving him to second guess himself. He begins to spiral into a deep, dark depression. He gains 18 kilograms in a week, and he then sees you out with someone else. You don't even notice him, and when he returns home he kills himself. What the actual fuck is shit? So you are saying some 10 year old pretended to like a guy? Stood up this guy and purposely went out with another girl to make him kill himself. I am honestly surprised any human being would believe this shit. You will apologize to him for your actions. Wait what I thought he killed himself. How the fuck can he apologize to a dead person? I mean he is dead. What is he supposed to do walk to the guy's grave? Then say I am sorry I couldn't fulfill your wish to date a fucking 10 year old boy. Okay, what the fuck? That is exactly what I am thinking as well. I seriously cannot remember saying that. Are you saying we are liars? No, but- Are you saying that it didn't mean anything to you? So you just forgot about it, and forgot about the pain you caused another human being. Is that what you're saying, Harrison? No, no, I'm definitely not. I just had forgotten I'd said it, but I remember now. It was two weeks ago. Apologize for your actions, Harrison. Ben, I just want to say I'm so sorry for saying that I will take you on a date and then never call you. I didn't mean to be so rude, but I'm not actually checking the voice. I wish he would. Is this the guy he made kill himself? He sounds at least 18, the kid is 10. Okay, this just got a lot more lion like. Because he sound like a massive cutie pie. Okay, what the fuck? Am I dumb now? I apologize to everyone. Yes, finally. Now let's get everything straight, so Harrison. He sounds about 10, made a person who sounds about 18 20 depressed because he didn't go out with him. Then that person's response is to say I wish you were you sound like a cutie pie. This is just creepy. Does anyone else not realize all the plot holes in this fucking story? One second the guy is dead the next he is a fucking gay 18 year old pedophile who is playing Call of Duty, part 2 coming soon. Please post any more evidence in the comments below. Also if you can think of any clever ways that this is not fake please comment below I can destroy your theory. Special thanks to Baldox and Noodle. Sources are in the description. In part 2 I will cover the voice actors and how bad they are and hopefully have more evidence against him. 
Also I will talk about when he asked his fans for money and after he got the money his uploading went down extremely.